Good morning. Good and morning. Happy... <laughs> oh, that's ominous. <laughs> uh, today is Tuesday. It is. The 2nd of January. Mm. January 2nd. As uh, many people know, the 2nd of January is traditionally the day after New Year's. <laughs> We are going to be doing a little bit around the house today, so it's going to be like a, a hybrid home vlog. Yeah. Hybrid home vlog. <laughs> we might do some other stuff too, you never know. Mm -hmm. I do need to get Jackson a new helmet, so I want to stop by Target. Oh yeah, so we got him his bike for Christmas, and he loves it. But his helmet is like, he's on the cusp. Like it fits him, but it's not going to fit him for very long. Right. So we need to get him like a, another helmet, just so that he, we're ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. Get him the next size up, mm -hmm. and we need to get adjustments and stuff like that good times but the whole reason that i had that little squeezy do that <laughs> yeah. was because i'm taking down the balloons oh so for jackson's birthday we put balloons up for his birthday party and it was a big hit and it was way more like way less expensive than like they because there are big companies that make balloon decorations and they're so expensive mm. i priced it out for what i wanted i wanted like a an arch and like two garlands and it was like 800 dollars yeah. Which is wild to me. Like we need to get in the balloon business. We paid like four dollars. Yeah, <laughs> but I did have to blow them all up myself, and the the little pump that we have wasn't working, so I had to blow up a hundred balloons like myself by mouth. Yeah. So I wanted to leave the balloons up for as long as we could because I worked really hard on it. Yeah. But today we can take them down. By the way, what the name for a balloon garland? Yeah. Festoon. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe. If you guys haven't seen the podcast, I'll link it down below. Yeah. But Tim has a podcast now with his friend Nick. We do. Yeah. <laughs> Called that tracks. So now, I guess it's balloon death time. Ooh, balloon death. <laughs> what a glorious way to go. Get out of the wall. Oh no. Oh no, oh, no. was that the, the tack? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? This is the one thing about Tim is that he doesn't ever think anything through. I so think we just have tacks right. on the floor. I've been thinking that for months <laughs> oh, trying no. to get these things down. I was like, oh, I'm just going to use the little grabber. And oh, jeez. The and then it like came loose and really flew across the room. You know who loves tacks? Who? Babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a joke. Babies do not true. love tacks. Babies don't love tacks. Into the baby area. Oh, jeez. So here's a look at the balloons. They're, some of them are definitely... No, don't do it. <laughs> some have seen better days. They're a little bit tiny. Let's see this side. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this one. I know. It's <laughs> so sad. Oh no, that looks uh, suggestive. <laughs> All right, it is some time later. Some time later. We got the car detailed. We had some lunch. We hung out with our friends a little bit. It was really awesome. We had a great time. Yeah, good day. Uh, it really was. So now, something that I've been wanting to do is I've been wanting to check out the Goodwill to see, especially after Christmas. And after New Year's, sense. yeah, people like bring all their stuff. Do they? Yeah, people are like, that's literally like one of the things that you do on New Year's is you start like purging oh. the things. I thought it would make less sense, make more sense for stuff to be gone after Christmas because everybody goes there to buy it to give us Christmas gifts. No, I think people are now like getting rid of this stuff because okay. it's New Year's. It's a new year. New year, new me. So I've been very curious, like, what do they have? Right. What, what theme park things can we find at Goodwill? Never know. Yeah. And we haven't been to this one. This one's like kind of like a fancy one. So I feel like they're gonna have like lots of things. Look at the sunshine right here. I know, look at you. Ooh, I'm like JJ Abrams. Sun flare. <laughs> we are also filming this on the phone, partially because I just kind of wanted to see how this, the quality was on our new phone. Right. Because we did get it. I have phone. HDR turned on. I think I have it turned off, so. Oh, is that bad? No, I just like, uh, it's hard to import to the computer and all is, is no, no, no. With it, with it being turned off, like, is it bad? Does it look bad? It doesn't look bad, but it could look better. Ah, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty okay. Mm. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go. I forgot my sunglasses, also, which is annoying. But we are gonna go head into Goodwill. But we have a nice, clean car. Look at that. Can Ooh. you tell? Yeah, look how clean it is. Here. Yep. Ooh, look how clean. Maybe. Oh no, there's a little dirt. That was for me. Oh brother. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it also still has like the new car smell. And we've had this car for kind of a little bit now. Yeah, since September, right? Yeah, and it still smells like a new car. I love that. But yeah, so let's head into the Goodwill and see what we can find. Oh, a lot of people here. I know, I think everybody had the same idea. What the heck? They're like, now's the time. 
Now, now is, is the, the best time, time to go to Goodwill. <laughs> also, look at this. We're at 84 feet above sea level. Hmm, pretty cool. All right, we're here. Look at this. Happy holidays. Let's go see what they got. Oh, this is a big boy. This is a big Goodwill. Lots of stuff going on here. Need some flowery pants? Gotcha. <laughs> Janet Jackson, Tyler Perry. Why did I get married to? Oh, it's right above the shorts. I don't know why it was up here. There's also like a bag of balls right here. A couple of baseballs, some wiffle balls, tennis balls, and some golf balls. Well, I was just like recording the ground for a little bit. Oh, why? Minnie Mouse. <laughs> there she is. Graduation Minnie Mouse. What? I literally was trying to buy these for our cruise. They're not my size, I wear a nine. Oh. But it was a cruise that we already went on, but I needed this exact shoe. Weird. That's kind of random, right? So these are from Target. This is Target's brand. They're going for 15 bucks. I feel How much like they, are they were, at Target? I think they were 25. Well, pretty good deal then. They're not super worn. Whoa, look so. at these. These are fun. Oh my yeah. god. Wow. Well, I kind of want this shark. Oh, what is it? I think it's just a shark. You like put it on your on your table. Oh, it's from SeaWorld. Oh, weird. Is it like a squeaker or something? I don't think so. It like blows air out. Seven bucks. Wow. There you go. Wow. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Bless our home and bless our shark. <laughs> what is it? It's a chopping fun learning pot. Oh. It's like a like a. Whoa! Look at oh. it go. Oh my goodness. Six bucks. Wow. There you go. Oh, that's Look at this fun. little sand rail back here. Pretty fun. How much is that? Five bucks. Oh. Pimple Pete. You can pop his pimples. Oh, no. <laughs> is that what we want to do? Hey, what's this? It's a BTS jigsaw puzzle. Oh. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Unopened. Oh, my gosh. Only $6. Look at that. Dynamite. I feel like somebody I know would like this. You know somebody that likes BTS? I'm sure I do. Okay. Who doesn't? I mean... Are there cigars in here? Is this just a cigar box? Is this empty? How do I open it? I think it's just empty. Oh. 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 A whole nativity set. Oh my god. In a bag. Oh, it's that, it's that, that, oh, we have these. This thing from Publix, remember? <laughs> oh my god. What were they called? Um, little, little grums. Little grums. Get some Funko Pops here. Well, Get Hunter it? Ron from Pirate. Oh. This is the, the Pating from Doctor Who. Wow. And then Daryl from uh, Letter Kenny. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's a Canadian comedy show. Oh, okay. This is kind of fun. Like, you kind of, like, move the beads oh, you see from here. the nice side over to the naughty uh -oh. side. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, girl power. Look at that. Kind of fun. Oh. That's talking about this lady. Right here. Oh, man, look. Oh. A marble run. Marble this maze for $8. Five days of Cabernet, <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon. This is full. Oh. Huh. It's well, only yeah. six dollars. They do know that this is wine, right? I don't know. I feel like somebody could just walk out of here. We should give this to your dad. Look at vintage boggle. Look at that. That's fun. Oh, a cobra. Oh, it's broken. I don't know. Don't tell anybody. At least three years. It's never been opened. It's still good, right? I can't believe this is really for sale in the in the toy section. Right? That's kind of weird. We're in the toy section. <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't be there. Oh, like a whole bag full of Nerf guns. I have this. This is so hard. This is like the hardest game in the world. The best gift you can give somebody is a game of uh, Saturday Night Live Tri <laughs> Trivial Pursuit. Well, this thing looks kind of fun, actually. The Robot Factory building set. That's kind of like uh, Snap Circuits. Snap Circuits are a trusted brand. What is, That's fun. Yeah, right? You make like a little circuit. Put it the was, batteries in there, put a fan on there. Right next to the wine gift box. You know, they're just trying to get kids <laughs> into it, you know? Look at this. Mindful jigs. That's not what I was looking for. Family Feud. Vintage. I like a vintage board game. Blues that. Clues Mail. Just a five pound weight over here. I'm doing some workouts <laughs> for your baby. You know. Oh, this is a, we have this. Marble Run, yeah. This is literally a Marble Run. Oh, yeah, there's wow. another Marble Run right there. It's called Marble Maze. Oh my goodness. Donald Duck over here hanging out. Barbie Dream Car. There it is. You guys a fan of, of hockey? Specifically John Tavares? The New York Islanders got you taken care of here for six dollars. 
I think it's kind of like the running theme. Everything is like five, six, or nine dollars. What is this? A jar full of ducks? I, who could ask for anything more? Does it smell like a wet dog? It's inspired by a dog beach on the California coast. Can you open it to smell it? Does it smell like a wet dog? Oh, it's a little bit burnt. They all are. Oh, yeah. Smell it. No, it's not, it smells like a candle. doesn't smell like anything. Do you think it's going to smell like a wet dog? No, I thought it would smell like something. It smells like just wax. Wow. Maybe that's why it's here. They're like, this doesn't smell like anything. This is so interesting. I was kind of thinking of getting Jackson into skateboarding because I always wanted to be a skateboarder when I was young and I couldn't. This is like the perfect one. It's a unicorn. Only 10 bucks. So they have like a little penny board down here. Look at this guy. Wow. Five dollars. Little baby penny board. This one too. That's pretty fun. Oh yeah, look at that. Like brat dolls. But this is a rainbow high, not brat. For nine to seven dollars. Good times right there. What'd you find? Oh, that's a Muppet Baby's Kermit. I know. This one oh. is four ninety nine, and then this, this is, is I'm going to high school. No, he. It's like so you can practice oh, your, zippers your zippers and your buckles. Your buckles your yeah. Shoelaces. This is awesome. I like this. I don't mean to alarm you, but like Rolly, he's back here watching. Oh. This. <laughs> it took me a second. I'm like, who's that? <laughs> Who is that? It's yeah. Rolly. Hey, we what? have this thing. What? I know. I saw that. Look at that. Wait, what? How's it go? Paw Patrol. No, uh, oh. that's right here. Uh. Puppy dog pals. Puppy dog pals. How's it go? Uh, oh no. I'm blanking. We used, we used to watch this all the time. Uh, when the dogs they're roly poly oly. <laughs> A surprising number of board games. Yeah. Wow, look at them all. A couple of Candylands, a couple of Yahtzees in there. Oh, this one's for the girls. Bachelorette parties. Ooh, you know it's gonna get wild up in there. <laughs> oh, snap, you can buy a bike out here. Look at that. Scooters and everything. Oh, a whole guitar. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Ooh, I just wrote a song. Oh, they have just like bags of stuffed animals. So like this one is 40 bucks. This whole, Whoa. wow. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Perry the platypus. Do you need a small chair? Is your child's name Penelope? <laughs> we got the perfect thing for you. What a good deal. Some sweet, sweet vintage luggage. Look at this. I like, like this. Is it vintage? This looks pretty vintage. Look I don't know that. anybody that has a suitcase like this anymore. FedEx. Oh, Perfect. Are you allowed to sell those? Yeah, it's just promotional items. Oh, I thought it was like <laughs> a pony. Oh, you buy a whole horse here. Is this for transporting a dog? I think so. Oh. But it's for, like from Southwest Airlines. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Oh, I have some coolers. Pretty nice. Oh, from Aladdin. Yeah, the Will Smith version. We got two of them. Oh, yeah. This thing's friend like me. I think somebody probably bought these two things and like kept them. Some were like thinking, oh man, this is gonna be good resale. Uh, and then they didn't sell them. Uh -oh. These are all like Keurigs up here. Wow. Look at them all. It's like tons of Keurigs. $9 for a Keurig? Yeah, that's Pretty cool. good, what's this thing? Nine Waffle. Dollars. The red copper brownie bonanza. Ooh, okay, so it Kinda like need that thing. You just lift them up out of the... You bake, you lift, you serve. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. This is as much as that uh, Keurig. Right? This be like vintage Universal Studios Islands of Adventure cup. I can't take it out because it's in there with all these other things. Yeah, it's like a Coke Freestyle. It's not vintage, I guess. It's just, you know, older. Oh, from Islands of Adventure. We found one. Yeah, we did it. Speakers, surround sound stuff, subwoofers. Look at this. Heck yeah. Cedar Key. Sweet boombox. Oh yeah, look at that. These M&Ms are celebrating the Olympics. All right. The Which Los Olympics? Angeles Olympics, 1984. Oh, wow. I was, I was one year old. Yeah. There's and then, another one of those sharks from SeaWorld back oh, there. <laughs> what? The 75th anniversary of planters, of, like a little jar. Pretty nice. It kind of is. I like this one. Hike or die, Death, Death Valley. Valley. I kind of don't like that they have everything like together. Like you have to buy whole sets of things. Why not? Cause like, what if I just want an Elvis cup? And I don't want a first order cup. Oh, no. These two cat ones though are kind of fun. Good grief, I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird cup. I love it. <laughs> Wind me up and watch me go. <laughs> the Bubblegum Shrimp Company in Orlando. Oh, fun. It is. So we're looking for like theme park stuff. We haven't found very much of it. But that's one. We do it on the grill. That sounds dangerous. All right. Some Dave and Buster's cups here. 
Oh, here's some from the Hard Rock in Hollywood. Oh, in Hollywood, Florida. Yeah. Gotcha. Ah, Dick's Last Resort. Oh, man. We had one of those. We went there. What's this one? Yeah, we don't have one of those anymore. I think it closed. That's a Ford's garage. Yeah, we went there one time. It was interesting. Yeah. You need some old restaurant cups for water? Got you. Like a mini bun cake maker. I've always... Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> they're so tiny. This is kind of fun. We got a couple of quesadilla makers down here. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh. What like is it? a, It's for like sealing up your packages. Oh, okay. I think it's one of those... Ooh, electric items are tested and have past working conditions. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. What is this thing? What is this? Oh, it's a, one of those things. It's like a, a grow thing for growing plants. This is kind of a fun idea. It's a snowman and you point his nose to however many days there are until Christmas. Huh? Good time. What'd you find? An antique Santa fine wax candle. Oh. You wanna see it? This is old man Santa. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that, never been burned. Well, I mean, that would be disrespectful to Santa. I think that's the point of it though, you burn it. Wow. Why do they call it antique? Because like, it's supposed to look they, old. They like made it a hundred years ago. How much is And this? now they're just finally selling it. Oh, $7. Well, not bad. If you're uh, ever wanting to advertise the fact that you're single, <laughs> perfect. Oh, I like this creepy baby. Oh yeah. Wow, I don't know. Oh, this is my favorite part about Goodwill is just going on going, look at these, <laughs> look at this, look at that. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's like a dream house. It is pretty nice, actually. I think somebody made that, though. Maybe. Oh, my gosh. I need a little tree. Do you? From oh, Opal it's, House. It's from Target. Oh, what the heck? Four bucks. Oh. My other tree was only $3. From Target? Yes. Ooh, it's because we left the tag on it, so we know. <laughs> What's in here? Wait, wait, I need your help. Oh, look at that. International Silver Company, a spoon. A fancy looking spoon. What is it? Oh, wow. How much is that? 20 bucks. Twenty dollars mm, wow. Getting a little bit expensive over here. What is that? What? Christmas tree stand, vintage. Ooh. Look at this thing. Looks like a spider. Look at this lady's leg. Six uh, bucks. <laughs> I wish it still had the price right there. I know. I bet you it cost less than $6 when it was new. You think? Yeah. Maybe. Ooh. Mm. Track spiders. Oh no. What is this? What is this guy driving? I don't know. A very a plane? Confused. That looks like an airplane. Right. Air crashes that filled rock and roll heaven. What? Oh no. Holy cow. Oh yeah, it has everybody. It's like people that died in plane crashes. There's John Denver, Buddy Holly, Patsy Cline, uh, Richie Valen. Uh, I can't read any of the other ones. Oh my goodness. Look, look. Is it not a real book? Oh, oh it's in German. Yeah. Okay. Look at this one. It's like a horrible. straight up look, German look book. Look at this one. A marriage made in heaven or just too tired for an affair? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did they cut this part out of it? I don't know. Interesting. It was like, it was like from Mary Ellen to I Steve. I love you, Steve. <laughs> Sometimes. You need Van Wyler? Oh, yeah. What is this? Yoga? That's kind of fun. Sizzling salsa? Oh, Stuart Little, two. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, both of them. Both? Oh, it's a double double header. Oh my gosh, I have this. Is Aaron this Grand mine? Screws. No, yours was not on DVD. Oh, that's right, it was on tape. Did you see who the people were on it, though? Yes. Britney Spears, NSYNC, and Jordan Knight. I learned all their dances. Yeah, you did. What else is here? The Godfather Part 3? Stealing Harvard with, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Tom Green. Tom Green. We have to come back another day because we didn't even crack the surface. We didn't even look at the clothes. Right. And I know they have some theme park clothes up in here. This I know they do. $100 grandfather clock right here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I got to admit, that took me back. <laughs> we used to spend so much time in thrift stores when we were kids. We did. And our favorite thrift store, they actually just rebranded to like another brand of thrift store. And I kind of want to go check that one out because that one was huge. Yeah. It filled a warehouse. Like it was so big. I feel like it was maybe this big. I feel like because no. we were smaller when we were kids. <laughs> we were in high school. We weren't that much smaller. Yeah. But that was a good trip to the th We didn't find anything like that we necessarily wanted to buy on this trip. But I really, really want to look at the clothes because I have a feeling that we could find some theme park clothes in there. I think you're right. 
Yeah, and I'm kind of curious, like, I'd like to go there, see how much the theme park clothes are used, and then go to the outlet, the Disney outlet, and see how much they are new. Ooh. Because the Disney outlet prices are pretty good. I wonder if there's a thrift store near the Disney outlet. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I bet that one gets, like, such good stuff. Right? Hmm, that might be a, a trip for another day. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. All right, it's a little tiny bit later. We're back from the Goodwill. Oh yeah, we're back from Goodwill. Uh, it inspired me to cook dinner. Oh. Well, it's also dinner time. So I'm gonna be roasting up some Brussels sprouts and broccoli and uh, they've got a little smoked paprika, but I only used half because I don't love smoked paprika. Mm. And some olive oil, I'm gonna throw that in the oven. It's gonna cook up for like 15 minutes. What you making? I'm chopping up some hazelnuts because I'm gonna do a spicy hazelnut breadcrumb mm. on top. So here's what we're making. We're making crispy Brussels sprouts with spicy hazelnut breadcrumbs and a butterbean mash. I'm kind of interested in this butterbean mash. I think it's supposed to be sort of like potatoes, but not. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. So this is my yeah. butterbean mash. I literally just heated it up in a pan like actual butterbeans. These organic low sodium butterbeans. Oh, these are Jack's quality butterbeans. <laughs> they are. And then I just mashed them up. I cooked them for like three minutes. I got my my Brussels sprouts and my broccoli out of the oven. And then this is my little spicy hazelnut and breadcrumb uh, mixture. Has some some lemon zest in it. Oh, I did add some lemon juice to my butter beans as well. What's spicy about it? The Aleppo pepper, but it's not super spicy. It's more like a smoky pepper. Mmm. But I only added half. I didn't even use the amount because I knew that you weren't gonna like love it. I like spicy stuff, but I just like can't handle it anymore. Oh no. Well, I didn't add as much. Because I'm so. like an old man. Old man can't <laughs> handle this spice. Oh no. It's okay. I still love you. What's this for? That is what, a drizzle. It's a romesco, like a red pepper sauce that I'm gonna drizzle right on the top. So something that Jackson is doing right now, cause he's all done with his dinner. We're just waiting for mommy and daddy to eat their dinner and then he's gonna have a bath. But he's been taking his Hot Wheels and racing them. We got this blue track for Christmas. And it's kind of fun because it's, it, it's like moldable basically. It's bumpy, yeah, it goes, we set it down the stairs. And then he sets his cars down to see which one's faster when it hits the bottom. They kind of go willy-nilly towards the end there, but it's still, it's fun. Let's see what happens here, bud. There they go, they're going towards the edge. And then, oh, look at that one, one. Look at that, oh my goodness gracious, look at it. That, that, one everywhere. That, that, um, that bear? Yeah, the Baja... Bison. Baja Bison one. That, As opposed to Dessert Drifter. Dessert Drifter? Drifter. The what? Dessert Drifter. Drifter. Dessert drifter. Yeah. That's silly, right? Yep. Here is the finished dinner. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna say, I gotta say that the butterbean mash, it just doesn't sound too appealing to me, but I gave it a taste and after adding the lemon juice, it does like brighten it up. So I think that made it a little more exciting, but I think it's gonna be pretty delish. All right, I have to say, I think the breadcrumbs really make the dish. That like little bit of crunch, a little bit of like smoky, a little spice. Super nice. And these Brussels sprouts that they sent this time, look how big these guys are. This is like the biggest Brussels sprout I've ever seen. They're very delicious, but they're huge. And baby Oliver, he, we're just waiting for his time to make his cereal. We just have about five more minutes, buddy, because we're on a little feeding schedule. But he's playing with Big Brother's Light Bright. So this is something that um, Tim's sister got him, got Jackson for Christmas. But do you remember, like, it's not like light brights when we were kids, where they had those little pegs. It's just like these little buttons. And I thought that was so interesting. You gonna push it? Push it. Are you gonna push it? Push it, buddy. Push it. You got it. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. But it's just so funny because I guess they realized that, like, light brights were probably pretty like unsafe for, for little kids. Cause there were just like millions of those little pegs. Whose idea was that? <laughs> like, although I did love my light bright. I absolutely love my light bright. And I have a very vivid memory of being at a neighbor's house, playing with her light bright. And we also were reading our horoscopes and we were young. This was before, I was probably younger than 10 years old. And we were reading our horoscopes in the newspaper and my horoscope, because they gave one for the year, was like, I want to say it was probably like the end of the year, but it said 
when I was older that I was gonna grow up to be a bird watcher. I have a very vivid memory of this. It was based on like your actual birthday. Like my birthday is November 24th, 1983. And so it was based off of your, your actual birthday. And it said, I was gonna grow up to be a bird watcher. And I never, I never fulfilled my goal. When do you think I'll be a bird watcher? You've seen birds. <laughs> I have seen birds, that's true. But I have this, like, it's like one of those core memories that like never leaves. You did? And I always wondered when I would turn into a bird watcher, so. You get that, can we put this away now? Who knows, yeah. I still have time. Oh, right? Yeah? Mommy still has time to be a bird watcher. <laughs> you wanna touch my hair? He loves touching hair. <gasps> oh. Yeah, is that funny? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he'll touch Jackson's hair and it's like the funniest thing to him. He'll just like bust out laughing. It's, ooh, he's very excited about this light bright. Look at that, bud. You made it go. Do, 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 <gasps> do, you did it. Good job. <laughs> so I wanted to show you because you're probably like, that's not a real light bright. It does have different modes. It has like a play mode, but then it also has a create mode, which is like a, the original light bright. So you can push it to, to show different colors. Can I show them, buddy? No, you just want to show them the switch. There's a switch on the back, but see how it's changing? I don't know if you can see that. It's changing colors. Yeah, so it's like the original light bright, just different updated. So Jackson is playing his first like console game. Our friends came over and they let Jackson borrow their switch so we could see if we wanted to like if he likes you want to buy a switch if we said if you like it enough we might get you one. So we're playing Super Mario Brothers Wii Deluxe. You? Super mm. Mario Brothers U Wii? I don't know what it is. Like U Wii. This one. We're playing this game. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Oh no. That's a big Bowser hand. Roll them into that tree. Oh no, Bowser threw all the dinosaurs into the tree? Oh no, jeez. So not, not them. They're just angry about the all egg done. corn. Oh, the egg corns. Uh oh. So when do you actually play? How do these work? Pretty soon. Like the first thing you do, you gotta go through the story. Oh, okay. Alright, so here we are. There's the castle. What do you think so far, buddy? Good. Good? <laughs> All right. It is actually the next day. <laughs> it is. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. It was good. It was not super filling. Right. It was like hungry afterwards. Right. So. We got to go to a thrift store. We had a lot of fun. I want to go yeah. back. So I said it in the video, but I want to go back and I want to look at the clothes because I yeah. have a feeling that we probably missed some like treasures in the clothing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, probably. And then Jackson got to try the Switch. I think we are gonna buy one because yeah. he really enjoyed, he had a lot of fun playing the Mario Buds. Super Mario Buds. <laughs> and then there were some other games that he got to try out too. I feel like it's a better like option than games on the iPad. Yeah. It's more, we can control it a little bit more. Right. So, and I'm okay with him playing Super Mario Buds. Yeah, and like Mario Kart. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And Carnival Wii, Wii, <laughs> Car Wii Carnival. Yeah, so yeah, oh. so I feel like that's gonna be, we're gonna be a Nintendo family. Always have been. You never stop being in the family. <laughs> That's true. So, so yeah, but we got some fun stuff coming up this week, so stay tuned to that. Tim's gonna run his first Disney race. Yeah. Very exciting. We went to the expo this morning, and that was really cool. You guys will see that in the video probably tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to edit that now, but uh, it was it was uh, pretty hectic. It was a lot of energy. Yeah. So. Right. Are you excited? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I know that people are like, you'll be fine, don't worry about it, you run, like, it'll be A-OK. -okay. But I'm still nervous, like, it's a long run for me. I haven't ever done six miles. Right, but you're also running with your friends, like, it'll yeah. be a good time. Yeah. I'm just, I, I, I am, I've always been a swimmer, never been a runner, mm. and so I've never been, like, good at it. I, I think you're, you're, I mean, I ran with you, you're good. Yeah, I am, a, I'm, like, a little nervous for the race, like, the pre-race jitters. Yeah, I think everybody has those. Yeah. Even even like seasoned, like run Disney people, I feel like they have that too. Right. You're gonna be good. You're gonna have a fun time. You're gonna be running with your friends. You're gonna see characters. It's not supposed to rain, so that's a plus. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. Okay. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. We had a really good, good time. 
we are going to start to like fall back into a groove as the year progresses. Mm -hmm. Like we're just trying to get through the holidays here and now we're making it. Oh, you mean like going back into the, yeah, yeah going we're back gonna, to the theme parks gonna, and like, stuff like go that. Go do stuff. Yeah. Right yeah. now it's still like home, home type stuff, but yeah, tomorrow I think really starts the theme park stuff. Yeah. So look forward to that. And all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay the, pay the price. price.